Adam 22 speaking to WAC 100 about the breakup. This should be good. Let me hear what you have to say about it because I'm really curious to see what Adam 22's opinions are um, post everybody leaving No Jumper and the fact that, you know, he's now on his own. He doesn't have any friends. He recently got married. None of those guys were there at the wedding, obviously. And it probably was a bit of a bittersweet moment. You finally get married to love of your life. But then he also was talking about the wedding a lot on the podcast because it would have been a really interesting time to have brought all those guys together, right? It would have been him, his family, his wife's family, and then all these new friends he's met at No Jumper and people that he counts as friends and employees and shit. And then he just turned into what it turned into. So I'm curious to hear what Adam has to say about it. This is a recent interview, actually, as we can see here um, from No Jumper Clips. Let's see what WAC 100 confronts Adam about AD and others host leaving. Let's see what he has to say. So you were talking about the guys leaving. What, what was your, your main point on that? I don't know. I, I kind of felt like they felt like you didn't speak up for Speak you up and, for You and AD's problem got worked out because you really didn't, you know, you know what his issue was. Yeah, because I came on here and kind of gave a whole little – Thing saying that I didn't really understand and what happened between fucking, us, or you were too nonchalant. You act like yeah. you didn't care, bro. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you you act like you didn't care, bro. Mm. <laughs> Perfect response. You act like you didn't care. What's uh, so? What's the clip I said here? Did you know uh, what? Did you cover my video? Oh no, I didn't actually. Um, I'll play after this. Thank you for reminding me. The clip I'll play after this. A lot to it. Yeah, but you still act like you didn't care. That was bad leadership. You were supposed <laughs> to dive into that. No, for real. You made that you. But you realize you what happened. You made that part of your makeup of no jumper. The, the, they ended up leaving because I tried to move AD off one show. And he was on like... Again, is he being, is he being dense or is he being truthful? Because from my impression... Everybody got annoyed or AD got pissed off and he rightfully sh should have got pissed off because Adam was discussing his performance and the potential of moving AD to another show with another employee being lush. That's just not professional. It's not very respectable. It's just not very nice to do, to hear your boss discussing your performance with another employee who's on the same level as you. Sometimes it could be, you know, it's fair to, it would be fair if AD was like, no, I think I'm a, a higher level of seniority than Lush because he's been at the place longer. Lush is a new hire. Why is Adam discussing, you know, other employees' performance and position at the place and what they're doing and blah, blah, blah with other people at the same level? That's not what you should do. You should have been speaking to Josh about that. If if Josh would have if it happened with Justin, it wouldn't have been a problem. But the fact that it happened with Lush and the way it kind of transpired, that's what's what kind of left people with a bad taste in their mouth. And he still doesn't get it. Again, I'm not too sure. Is is Adam twenty two a narcissist or is he just really dumb? I'm starting to think he might be dumb because he was making a lot of money with those guys. They, they, they you know, no jumper was popping. If if you believe what everyone's saying about their salaries. You know, what's his name? Sharp was recently talking that he recently got, he had one of his worst months at No Jumper by only making $8,200 or some shit. If, if they can afford to pay people that amount of money, I'm assuming they were making a lot of money. If that's the case, Adam kind of fumbled the bag for himself and for the people that he's paying because clearly it's hurting them because they've had to fire a bunch of people on top of whoever left. So I'm not too sure. Is the guy dumb? Is he a narcissist? Maybe it's both. I'm not too sure. But him having no idea why Ad, Ad AD was annoyed is kind of wild. Basically like three shows. We had the food show. We had his Wednesday show. The Tuesday show. That's what I tried to do is I tried to say, I don't the think me and you. The show is totally independent. And by the way, in terms of moving AD around the shows, I actually agree with Adam. That was a, that was a smart, that was the right decision. Having being a long time, no jumper viewer and stuff. AD was starting to phone it in towards the end. He was starting to just clock in, clock out. He was doing the bare minimum. He wasn't really contributing much. Maybe it was because he was, you know, his interest and his skills or whatever, maybe was spread too thin. He was doing his own thing with community when that was kind of popping. Fair enough. But he definitely wasn't the best host on those shows that he probably could have been. He wasn't bringing his A game. So maybe 
Adam telling him, hey, I want to take you off this show so you can maybe focus on two or one was a smart move to do. But still, it deserved a conversation face to face. It didn't deserve him going and telling another employee about it. That's not the way you do things. No, no wonder AD was annoyed. Well, it was on our channel. Yeah, now they're doing it but, on our channel. But what I'm saying is <laughs> that didn't affect the other shows. They... It like the totally other guys different. left with him as like a sign of solidarity, which was kind of curious so you, to me. You... <laughs> Adam is fucking tapped in the head. He's fucking insane. Or maybe this is white boy logic as well. I don't know. But why would why are you surprised? Those guys were I AD's friends before they were Adam's friends. Just from pure loyalty or friendship, why wouldn't you leave? That's why everybody's looking at fucking Yuri weird. Because most people, if they were Yuri, if everybody was in Yuri's position, I hope so anyway, if your girlfriend got fired from No Jumper and you worked at No Jumper, especially under the circumstances that Riley got fired, if you believe her version of events, that she was considering leaving anyway or at least getting a second job to pursue other things like hairdressing to give her other options because she wasn't feeling it or whatever her reasons were, no Jumper guys, Adam and Joss said, no, don't do that. We'll pay you more so you can focus on No Jumper. We like what you're doing. You contribute a lot. Then all this drama goes down and then they change course and decide to fire her. I would walk with my girl just because of the strength of loyalty because, you know, fuck it. I'll, I'll, you know, we walk out in this together. They did you dirty and just get some random job somewhere just to kind of hold it down money-wise for the household. I wouldn't let my girlfriend get fired and then I stay at the same place. That's fucking insane. Which is the same thing those guys did. AD essentially got told to skedazzle on one show, <clears throat> which basically made his, his position untenable because of the circumstances around it. And because, you know, I, I, Adam told Lush instead of going directly to AD about it and it just, you know, all the drama around it with the modern stuff. And then the friends were like, okay, you, you did our friend dirty. We're going to walk. That's what friends do. They have each other's back because they came into it being AD's friends or Adam's friends. But Adam somehow still can't understand it. Very bizarre. You didn't want to do the show with him. I felt like our time doing the show together had kind of run its course at that point. So was that because you kind of felt like he was getting too big? No, it was more of just like a conversational thing. I think anyone who watched the show at the time could have kind of, they could kind of see it. But like he doesn't have good communication, does he? problem like how can he not why is he not like a good communicator like how are you unable to kind of articulate and kind of you know speak to your employees or people that you hire and say hey this isn't working out i want to try something new do you feel you could go and do this new thing would you be okay with moving off this show would you not take it personally i don't know have conversations why can't these motherfuckers just talk to each other why did he have to do this whole, like, going to fucking Lush and stuff? It's very odd, this behavior. It's very, very strange. Again, like I'm saying, I'm not too sure. Is he a narcissist, really? Because that's the trendy thing that people keep saying to psychoanalyze somebody. Or is he just dumb? I'm, I'm going for the latter. Like, we weren't really, the conversations weren't that great. He was kind of. So, so who are you going to replace him with? Well, right now we have your friend, Brick Baby. Oh, that's what he, I don't, I don't know the dude. And another guy named Court, who you probably don't know. Court, okay. Yeah. So Brick Baby replaced AD. I wouldn't say replaced, but he had been <laughs> trying to do some stuff together. And then once they all left, I was like, well, you know. I like yeah, he don't know how to turn it on and off, though. Brick Baby. Yeah, see, the difference between. He's a great Brick, conversationalist. The, the difference between Brick Baby and AD is AD really is that. So he don't have to act like that. What's so that? He, that. He's really that. AD really <clears throat> come from the streets, been through it been respected out there for a long time. So he don't have no problem sitting down and being normal. Mm. Brick Baby always want to be tough. Die, but he's real cool on the show. He he always want, I don't, I don't know, I've never seen him. I think he's, he's got a lot of perspective. But Brick Baby been through it, right? He's, he's from the streets, right? Never, listen. I, I shouldn't be trying to verify listen, this with you. I've <laughs> never, I, look, I, I was hanging over there a long time, uh -huh. 18 years. Okay. No, I don't know him. I don't know what he was doing, but I don't know him. You haven't been tuned into the Brick Boy, Brick Baby versus Cowboy saga? No, I know Cowboy. Cowboy stay talking about Brick Baby on his podcast. Brick oh, Baby. he don't he don't like Brick Baby. They don't get along now. Oh, oh. Of course, Adam Twenty Two is gonna always have himself involved in the center 
of nonsense and drama, especially when they involve conflict with two black people. Always. Oh, I know why they don't get along. Right. I get it. I'm cool with both of them. I'm cool with you. Big baby and you aren't cool. I didn't even know Cowboy. I, I listen. He clout chasing on my name. I don't know him. I can't tell you. Cowboy. About him. No. Brick baby. Brick baby. I don't know the dude. So I, I feel like you kind of misrepresented my text to you on Clubhouse. No, I, I said, didn't. "Would you do a podcast with Brick baby?" I asked him. He said that he was down, but that he wanted to speak to you beforehand. That's the point, right there. Right. If I'm telling you right now, right. <clears throat> Or if I'm saying like for the record, it was my idea. I said, hold on. "Yo, Brick, hold would on. you do a podcast no, 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 no. with Wack?" He said, see, he "I tried... would do it if we talked first. Hold on, but see, that's the problem. That's the bitch shit right there. But he was open minded about it. right? No, no. If I'm telling you, <laughs> Adam is Adam really loves this shit, isn't it? Why the fuck is he involved in this stuff? This is clearly deeper than rap. This is clearly some." street shit in a way there's something happened there i'm sure whack and brick baby have had their pass a pass on the internet somewhere along the line why the fuck is adam acting blase and oblivious to the issues that's at hand what's how, what's going on here hmm oh i was just saying adam looks unwell i've seen people on the comments um i've seen people on the reddits saying that adam may have relapse and started using again drugs wise i'm not too sure he's saying he's working out a bunch it looks like he's just lost a lot of weight from being in the gym all the time because he's one of those people who not really in touch with his emotions so he's not really too sure how to process his grief of losing all his friends and have you know having the no jumper empire that he built pretty well having it all implode overnight he's actually still actually dealing with it he hasn't really kind of got over it too tough and i think he just committed all himself to fucking the gym and working out and getting healthy and fit i think that happens sometimes right it's like a response you kind of want to deal with it so you just throw yourself into another thing so i think that's the case i don't think he's actually on anything personally for me i don't think so but I've seen people say they think he is. I just think he just got drastically healthy and fit so he can distract himself from not thinking about how he may have fucked up everything and how bad he feels and whatever it may be. That's my personal opinion. Right? Like Charleston White. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with dude. Right. Me neither. At all. Right? And I'm going to tell him, fuck you. So if you come to me and say, hey, whack. Would you be down to do a thing with um, Charles, me and Charleston White? And I tell you, yeah, but well, let me talk to him first. Mm -hmm. After I didn't express to the world, everybody, fuck this dude, he this, he this, he that. Mm. If I see him, it's this, 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 that, right? That's what I'm gonna call you weird. But I said that to Brick Baby like over a month ago, two, two uh, months ago. He been running his, he been running my name for over a year. Mm -hmm. You're weird because he's supposed to tell you what he tell everybody else. Exactly. I don't fuck with dude. Right, but he was just saying that he would do the content if you and him were able to talk, fight, whatever it turned into, and get to so, a point where so there was said not. fight? He said whatever y'all needed to do in order to get to zero. Adam is so messy. Why is he even getting involved in this shit? This is fucking weird, man. He just hired this brick baby guy. He's just started at the flipping uh, jumper. And now he's involving him with this beef that's going to spill out into other shit. Clearly. Because these two guys are hotheads. Wack 100 can't be reasoned with. Brick baby is the same, I feel like. This is a bad, bad move. He would be open to that. So Just made that, it clear he wasn't but, running but, from nothing. No, but he had to run from nothing. <sighs> My point is, he clout chasing he would have loved for Wack to sit here. It was what, my idea. Though. It don't matter. He just said. You can never bring a motherfucker around me that I don't fuck with. I don't give a fuck about who I did it. But you could theoretically get to the point where you fuck no, with each other enough happen. to sit down, right? Not going to happen. Exactly. Because there's different levels of beef, no, right? You could sit down on camera with someone you have beef with as long as the beef was not so extreme that it was something that was going to turn into he, a fist fight, right? But he took it extreme. Exactly. Well, recently, right? Oh, song. It's on. He, 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 oh, it's on. Yeah, after so much running your mouth, like. Okay. Why is he acting? I don't know you. Why is he acting dense about this? Why? Why doesn't he know what Wack's trying to say here? I get it. Wack can be annoying too, but in this instance, if Brick Baby has been saying shit about Wack behind the scenes or on camera, or on Clubhouse or whatever he's been doing, 
why would then Adam suggest to Wack to do a show with him? Or float the idea? It's just messy, isn't it? It's just messy, this. Again, just constant, the messy economy of content creation, man, where people's... And the funny thing about it is the, the really sad thing about this whole situation, most likely Brick Baby and Wack would have some sort of physical altercation. Something will happen, right? Someone will get rushed. Somebody will get knocked out. Something's going to happen. Adam22 will not get a single hair on his head touched. And he essentially has played an instrumental role in instigating whatever things happened here. Him and Brick Baby and Wack already have their issues, clearly. Two grown men who just love to argue on the internet. They're always going to have their issues. But it was where it was for a while. Then Adam just stokes the flames by floating this content idea. And now suddenly they're back at each other's throats again. And they'll probably fight. Someone will get hurt and injured. And Adam won't have a single hair on his head touched. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't know you. But if that's what it is, cool. Right. So now all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, if, you know, if we can talk. I no longer feel very optimistic about you and him being able to get past your issues. Why? What you mean? It just doesn't really seem like you're open to it. I was never open to it because of where he went. He took it too far. Once you go there, that's where we at. You went there. I don't, I, listen, I can't tell you what the dude looked like. I don't know him. Uh -huh. I, really, I don't. A good looking guy. I don't know. See, that's between you and Brick Baby. <laughs> I don't know the dude. Right. So, I don't. He's like, got some cool braids. I don't, I don't dislike shirt. people that I don't know, regardless of where they from, what they represent. I don't, you know, I don't dislike people I don't know. Just because a bunch of other people don't like them, I'm not going to say I don't like them. I'll be like, I don't know him. Right. You hear me say, I'll be like, I don't know the guy. Is it from my perspective, bringing these, bringing people together who have issues with each other is great for not only the content, but also it would be great <laughs> to have, you know, a bunch of. This guy's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Bring people together with content, okay? People but that I fuck with, thing. fucking with each other. I, I'm, I'm not so that. optimistic. No, but he gains from that. He needs to sit on the side of Wack. Wack don't need to sit on the side of him. All right, so you see. Oh man, Adam Twenty Two is a fucking awful human being. Unfortunately, man, really, really, really is. Really, really, really is. Um, but yeah, nothing really got settled there. It is what it is. It's fucking full on mess. Grown men screaming at other grown men about grown men doing grown men shit. And it's never going to end because you know what? The, the flipping beef industrial system is fucking rampant and it works. Unfortunately, it does work. I'm covering it. I'm, I'm a nobody. There's plenty of other somebodies out there covering it. It's going to keep going. It's going to get stoked to flames. People are going to leave comments under people's pictures. They're going to start calling people out. They're going to start saying this, going to start saying this. And then suddenly people start beefing and then they're at each other's necks and then it keeps on going on. And it's another fucking, it's another kind of part of the story, another fucking arc. And it just never stops. It's fucking annoying, man. It really, really is. Um, and yeah, bloody hell it's probably for the best everyone kind of walked away and did their own thing to be fair because it's getting fucking crazy out there it's getting fucking crazy 